For months, Yusuf Mangouche has been locked in a power struggle with armed groups. It hasn't been easy in a country awash with weapons and wielded by thousands of militiamen. But just last week, Mangouche claimed a breakthrough. He succeeded in getting more than a thousand fighters to hand over their weapons. But that success, it seems, was too little, too late. Just days later, long-held resentment at the continued existence of armed groups led to violence. Protesters, calling for militias to disband, marched on the offices of the government-approved Libya Shield Brigade. In the chaos that followed, many people were killed. As he quit his job, Mangush reportedly told the General National Congress, Libya's highest political body, that he was no longer willing to continue the journey. The armed groups he sought to disband were once described as the heroes of the revolution. But almost two years after Gaddafi was overthrown, they continued to exert influence. One of the best examples was in April when armed men surrounded the foreign and justice ministries. They were putting pressure on parliamentarians to pass a law that would stop any officials connected to Gaddafi's regime from taking office. They got their way. Mangusha's deputy is reportedly taking over until a new army chief is picked, but it will be a big ask, taking on the militia that the government has, till now, been powerless to restrain. Miranda Hond, Al Jazeera.